Hey there guys, this is Bull from Ditechite with another iPhone and iPod Touch video. This is actually a tutorial on how to share your iPod Touch or iPhone screen to your PC or Mac. Uh, I'm using a Mac here, so obviously this tutorial will be based on a Mac, but PC users can also follow along with it because I'm trying to make this uh, tutorial a little more universal. Um, Linux users will have to wait for my next tutorial which involves different steps and different software and PC users and Mac users can also follow along on the second tutorial video because it uh, basically uses software that all three will have so there we go let's go start with this tutorial the first thing you need to do um, your jailbroken iPod touch or iPhone you'll need to, it to be jailbroken of course and you'll need to have City installed uh, most of you will have City installed so let's go move on go open up Cydia and you want to go look for an app called screen splitter I'll have that on the bottom of your screen there but let's just go search for screen splitter screen splitter go search and we'll go tap on it right now so once you see it uh, just go download it and install it and then once it's downloaded and installed you should notice that you have a new icon in your menu screen home screen um, in my case cuz I tried to do this video earlier and it did not work the way I wanted it to so I'm doing this again but uh, in my case it is on because I didn't turn it off so just to keep note because I want to start this anew um, I will turn it off simply by tapping on the icon as you can see it is now off because the on thing is not there anymore now for your purposes let's go turn it on and then the next step is to go to your computer and you want to go download or open Safari depending if you're a Mac or PC user uh, of course you both have to open it but PC users will most likely have to download it first so once you have it downloaded or install and installed just go open it up and you want to go to your uh, bookmarks uh, mine has the little icon here so I'll go click on that and under your collections you want to go click on the bonjour tab and if you did everything correctly which means turning on the app here if you even downloaded it uh, if you didn't download it or you didn't turn it on your iPod would not show up here at all but if you did everything right your iPod should show up under bonjour in your bookmarks like mine is here my iPod's name is Kenneth's Room's iPod for some reason probably because it's my iPod and I named it that by accident but it's whatever so I obviously did all of my stuff correctly and that's why it showed up here on my bookmarks under bonjour so let's go double click on it now and then screen splitter will not only show up on our browser here like it did now but it'll also show up on our iPod and it'll ask you if you want to remotely connect it to your computer or whatever uh, whatever like computing device and it'll ask you if you want to connect with it if you want to connect with it click accept and after you accepted it um, it, it should appear on your Safari browser if everything went well as you can see it, it's sort of live there's a little bit of lag but that's because it is just taking screenshots it is not a live video or a live feed of it it's just pictures or screenshots uh... don't expect a, like any like th 3d viewing on the uh... i mean you could view 3d on it but i mean don't expect any like live gaming on it like if i play tiger woods right now it'll obviously just take uh... uh... pictures in like two second intervals so it's not gonna be the greatest gaming that you'll see on your computer but you know this is just for viewing you know typical stuff like you know regular 
browsing on your iPod Touch. You know, you could go on Safari, you could go look for your music, you know, it'll just look nice on your computer screen. But of course, there's no inertial scrolling seen on the screenshots, because it is screenshots. So, as you can see, it's, it's not really the best thing. And obviously, since it's not great performance-wise, you guys probably wouldn't have to use this as much as actually using your iPod straightforward. <laughs> I mean, this is something that you will use, like, maybe only once, and then that's it. Probably, you guys will use this just so you have it, or so you know how to do it. Or so you could try something new out, who knows, but... Odds are you probably won't be using this for like reviews or recording stuff or you know things of that nature. But you know, again, it's just really nice to know. And well, that's really it. <laughs> just one thing before I um, wrap it up. You don't really want to drag this at all. What I mean by drag is ob obviously like clicking on it and dragging it or even just clicking on it because the thing that happens is for some reason when you drag it like this it'll disconnect from your computer will disconnect from your iPod as you can see it'll start to ask for the request again um, of course you could click accept but it's gonna freeze on that screen so you can see it's not really doing it anymore what you have to do is you have to basically go back a few steps and do the same thing over starting from the bookmarks portion go to your bookmarks bonjour and then you wanna go click on your iPod again and then that should bring up screen splitter on your iPod again and you know the same thing that happened before it'll ask for the message you accept now this doesn't always work though you might have to do this one more time so let's see if it worked you see the screen's frozen again. We have to do. We have to go back to our bookmarks, bonjour, and go click on the iPod again. Sometimes it may go straight into sharing the screen, or it may ask you if you want to accept or not. This time it asks you to accept. You accept it, and it should work live. Yep, it works fine. So that's really a nice thing to have. So that's really it. Uh, I'm both from Nitechguide. Please subscribe to our channel. Go visit nitechguide.tk for some tech news. And I will talk to you guys later.